Okay, friends. Please excuse the mess behind me. I just wanted to give you guys an introduction of what I've done so far with a little bit of perseverance and patience after the total failure that I had trying to print this head the first time I'm happy to say that it's starting to look like something I got the, all the details done the head is done and this thing is quite heavy it's about two pounds almost and um, I'm hoping that this small neck is going to be able to hold all the way I got the shaft the hydraulics in there already done I just got to measure the shafts so when I put the ball bearings and stuff the head will be able to tilt up and down lips are done they came out really well about 27 lights all together I also got the glass on the eyes that was not an easy task it kept moving on me and I kept messing it up trying to glue them but finally after the second try I managed to get two pairs in there flawlessly I also did some custom detailing to the iris itself if you notice you can see the 3d effect of the iris that was all done freehand by hand you can't even tell where the object shifted when I first printed this piece right here I reattached all of the plates detailed them this took about I want to say a week and two days of work taking my time making sure I got all the details correct I'm very pleased with the way the servos came out I had to use different servos than the one that I seen other people use and I also had to cut into the nose a little bit to make them fit but I'm also happy that they look like they belong there they don't look out of place they don't look any exaggerated enlargements or anything so I'm pretty pleased they're aesthetically correct I think they look really nice you guys let me know what you think but I think I'm pretty happy with the way the results of what I've gotten so far and something that has not been printed this scale before 200% from the original scale that Sergi had uh, on the inside I have not put the electronics yet I just mocking up how the body's gonna look I did most of the detailing paint for the head the head is ready to rock and roll let me see if I can open this without dropping it. You see there the uh, two cables to the servo. I made a custom bracket for the motor because now that this is larger, the screws will not mount where they go. Right there. So I had to make a bracket and center the motor so that the head can tilt freely and the motor can handle it. I've tested it and amazingly enough even though the head is heavy this thing can move it so I'm pretty stoked about that there's plenty of room for electronics the speaker Let's see where did I put the speaker at hold on folks okay speaker bracket I made also I started thinking I didn't have a way to mount the speaker so I made this little bracket and I measured the magnet just enough so I can stick it in there I don't even need to glue it I mean this thing is not going anywhere and that's gonna go right here I don't know guys if you guys can see that there you go and I if I have the room I'm gonna try to put another one here but I think I'll be pretty happy with just one speaker but I'm gonna try to run two speakers we'll see how that goes take another look Oh, 
Also, if you notice, I did some custom work on the iris. I don't know. I just forgot if I mentioned it or not. But I'm pretty stoked about the way that came out. I mean, in every angle that he moves, you can see the definition of the iris. And that was some, a little custom piece that I made out of some steampunk idea that I came up with. I think it's pretty cool. Also, let me see if I can manage this. I managed to print the bottom portion of the, the, the skeleton body. This thing took about six days to print. I mean, this thing is huge. And this is just the bottom piece. I haven't even started printing the chest yet. This is just the bottom. Look how huge this thing is. Still got to do some mock-ups and some measurements because the bearings now, I can't find anything that's 50 millimeter bore with a 60 millimeter diameter, outer diameter. So I'm going to have to either make the bearing or come up with some ingenious invention to make sure that those bearings fit in that hole there that right now is only 58 millimeters. I don't think I can drill out. I'm just going to have to make it fit. And... Um, we just make it work. I managed to print other part. Right now I'm reprinting another piece because for some reason when I printed this, the bed melted the bottom and warped it. And I had the bed set at 60. So I don't know if it was because I was away and I let the bed sit there for a long time after I printed and the heat just got to it. So I don't know. I'm going to try to save this part. I may be able to use it for something as a spare. But I'm printing two new ones and I'm this time I'm policing it like there's no tomorrow. But that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this brief preview of the Johnny 5 2.0 G. The G stands for giant. Although I know there's robots out there much bigger than this. But I think given the size of the printers that I got, I think this is pretty stoked. That's it for now. Hope you enjoy. It.